Last year, the government launched Phase 2 of its flagship program, Planting for Food and Jobs. Designed to build on the successes of the initial phase, PFJ2 is a five-year master plan aimed at transforming agriculture in Ghana. However, farmers across the country have found the implementation of the policy lacking. Obviously, food production will be impacted, supply will be impacted, and price in the market is going to go up. And like we indicated, um, if you look at the general inflation that we're talking about, around 25%, if you break this uh, general inflation into the virus component, food inflation is still around 40%. And if these inputs are not given to the farmers on time to be able to grow food, then we are likely to be heading to over 50% of food inflation from next year. Notably, food inflation last year reached a record high of over 50%. It appears that this trend could continue into next year. Registration is still ongoing. The last time we, we had a stakeholder consultation with MOFA and the farmers in northern Ghana, many of the districts were there, about 20 to 10% of the farmers have registered. So if registration is still ongoing, when, uh, when are we going to finish this registration before the inputs are given to the farmers? So it's a source of worry to us as farmers. The president of the Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana addressed the media on this issue during a stakeholder workshop on PFJ2. Michael Obudu, 3 Business Accra.